Hello and welcome to this short video on how to manage rows and columns in Website Builder. Website Builder is laid out in rows and columns, much like a table. Sometimes you may need to make changes to these rows and columns. To do this, start by enabling row and column editing. Now editing is enabled, you will see some options when you hover your mouse over a row. We'll start with the middle icon, which allows you to split your row into columns. Click your preferred layout from the list. Once the row has been split into columns, you'll see a settings icon when you hover your mouse over a column. Click this icon to manage the styling for the column. Click the plus icon to add a new style. Give the style a name and then click add column style. There are a lot of styling options, including curving the edges and adding borders and shadows. I won't go through all the options, but I'll give it a background colour to help show how styles affect a column. As you can see, that particular column now has a background colour. There are other things you can do with the column background, including using an image or a gradient. It's worth having a bit of a play around with different styles to see what works for your website. Now we'll take a look at the other options for a row. The bottom icon on the list allows you to move a row to another position on the page. I'll just switch this row with the one below it. The final icon to show you is the settings icon, which allows you to style the entire row. It's exactly the same as styling an individual column, but the style will apply to the whole row. Click the plus symbol to add a new style. Again, I'll just add a background colour to show you how styling affects the website. You can see that the row style has only applied to two of the columns. The one that has been previously styled has not been changed. If you want the column to inherit the row style, just remove the style from the column. If you want to change the number of columns in the future, you can easily do so. However, you can only do so if there is no content in any of the columns. The column has now been reduced to one row. To remove the row styling, click Settings and select No Style. There is another way to split a row into columns. You can use the Column widget. When you use this widget, you are not splitting the entire row into columns. So you could have the top half of the row split into columns and the bottom half as one column. I'll now add the widget to show you. As you can see, the row has not been fully split into columns, only part of it has. You can add more columns by clicking the settings icon. It's worth noting that you cannot style columns that have been added using this widget, so whilst they're a bit more flexible, you do lose a lot of options. The final thing to show you is how to add more rows. You can have up to 8 rows, but only 4 are available by default. Click the eye icon to see the available rows. As you can see, only 4 rows are checked. To enable the other rows, check the boxes next to them. So that's how to manage rows and columns. If you would like to know more about Website Builder, we have other useful videos on getting started. If you need any further help, please contact our support team. We can be reached by raising a support ticket or starting a live chat at help.farsos.co.uk, calling our local rate 24-7 support line, or you can tweet us at FHTechTeam. Thanks very much for watching. Goodbye for now.